Well, from good trouble to joy ride, Sherry Cola is one of Hollywood's latest and greatest scene stealers. That includes the new animated movie, The Tiger's Apprentice, where she voices Naomi the monkey from the Chinese Zodiac. Take a look. Okay, do I need to knock you two down a size? Guys, Get hey, hey! <laughs> Adorable. Not helping, Naomi. Thousands of years old, and you still what? behave like children. <laughs> so tiny and so angry. You run back away from death. The death pack. Well, you're lucky you're not lunch. Ooh, and Sherry's <laughs> with us now. Welcome. So good to have uh, you here. The feeling is mutual. Oh. Look at us. We're matching. We are matching. We didn't even did, we didn't tell each other this on was Thursdays happening. On Thursdays we wear maroon. That's you know? right. On Thursdays we wear maroon. That's the that's the rule. That's the rule. From now on, just so we better expect <laughs> we're going to expect to see all of you in in maroon on Thursdays. Listen. <sighs> This movie is so good. I watched it with my kids last night. I told you before we started this, mm -hmm. twice actually, because I had to start it over because somebody missed like a little bit of it. <laughs> Very well received. But I mean, I, I love how this movie brings all the animals of the Zodiac to life. So talk to me about Naomi. Like, what's her vibe? What's her particular set of uh, skills? You know, she really is monkeying around she uh, is. by definition. Yes. Naomi is definitely a prankster. You know, she doesn't take things too seriously. And all the personalities of all the animals. I mean, this star-studded cast of Henry Golding, yes. Sandra O, oh, Lucy Liu, Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. I mean, Bo and Yang, I could keep going I on, know. You know, but we don't have time. Yeah. It's just royalty, AAPI royalty. And to be a part of this ensemble is a dream come true. Yeah. And, you know, it's this beautiful mystical adventure that this young warrior goes on with the animals of the Chinese Zodiac yeah. just in time for Lunar New Year. How much fun is it to bring this this animal warrior to life? Because when we were watching that, you were saying, I mean, that's just me. That's me. Yeah, so you got to, like, bring out your inner animal. Yeah, you know, she's a furry, uh, uh, freaky, uh, foolish. <laughs> I love alliteration. <laughs> um, feisty, very nice. Uh, just a joy, you know, look at that. They're just, like, having so much fun, and that's what it's all about, you know, with voiceover. Anything is possible. It's really yeah. in your imagination and the creative collaboration with the directors and producers. Like, you really find it in the moment as you're playing around. Like, I'm throwing my body left and right, you know? Like, I'm genuinely. I think they filmed that. I need, like, they do. Little clips coming soon. Padded um, walls and all. But genuinely, I need a Theragun, like, after yeah. a, a voiceover <laughs> session. So, listen, though, this story, it centers around this teenage boy who's growing up in San Francisco. Europe grew up in California. Do you feel like any parallel? Um, with how you like in your teen years growing up in California yeah I mean definitely it's about you know growing pains and coming of age and kind of embracing who you are and that's not overnight you know because yeah. you know I'm an immigrant I was born in Shanghai I'm also queer I'm a woman I'm Chinese American all these things that you kind of have have to like uh, be comfortable with all gradually you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. because society says this and that right. you know um, and growing up in the San Gabriel Valley the 626 I was lucky enough to be surrounded by Chinese culture and yeah. you know restaurants and um, all that stuff so yeah I do relate to this film a lot you know and also San Francisco yeah. it's such an iconic setting yeah. for a film like this yeah I mean yeah. you're you're all over the place you're doing so many great things we got to talk about good trouble it's it's just the final season just premiered are you ready to say goodbye are you not <laughs> it's really hard to say goodbye. Yeah. Honestly. Yes, because, just in, in general. Yeah, you know, this was in general. <laughs> you know. Goodbye. Do we have to do it? <laughs> so um, it all together. <laughs> but I think this is the end of an era, such a glorious era. I think Good Trouble left a legacy on on an impact and on so many people because of all the stories we told, whether it be you know, about trans rights, BLM, um, equal pay, you know, in a, in a real human way. Yeah. We, we had these arcs. And my character, you know, just the, the queer Asian experience and kind of navigating that, um, you know, with your Chinese parents, et cetera. We, we talked about so much. We had a Stop Asian Hate arc. We had a Lunar New Year episode. We, we just did Important so much themes. on this show yeah. that is, is necessary. I think Good Trouble was talking about um, 
these things. Good Trouble was having these private conversations in public yeah. before it was trendy. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm so proud of that. Listen, we have so, we, you have so many things to talk about. <laughs> you got to come back because we didn't I get to, to shortcomings. We oh didn't get to you're dating a narcissist. Oh my God, come shortcomings. Back next Thursday and we'll wear maroon. Yes, please. Okay. Let's make this a weekly thing. <laughs> Thank Bring you so up. much. Weekly thing. All right, Tiger's Apprentice premieres exclusively on Paramount Plus on Friday, February 2nd. So be sure to check it out. We had so much fun watching it. Thank you again, Sherry. Thank Good you. Thank you. you.